So I'm going to show you how to install the Inwin Jupiter AJ120 fans in a desktop PC. So let's take a closer look at the fans. So this looks like a standard RGB fan in that we have got two wires coming from it. So normally one of the wires supplies power and lets your motherboard control the fan speed. And the other wire lets you control the RGB lighting on the fan itself. And this is exactly what we've got. So this first wire has a standard four pin connector on the end of it. So this is going to plug into one of the fan headers on your motherboard. Give the fan power to spin round and allow your motherboard to control the speed of it. What isn't usual for a normal fan is we've also got a little extra connector on the end of this. And the idea behind this is that you're going to be able to dizzy chain these fans. So we're only going to need one fan header on our motherboard to power the fan and control the speed. And when we want to add another fan, and we will want to do that because I've got a three pack that I'm going to show you how to install. We just plug the next four pin fan header into this little adapter. And that's going to give it the power to turn. And also it's going to share the speed controls with this fan. And then if we want to add the third fan on, we're going to repeat the same step on the second fan to allow us to add the third fan on. And it's exactly the same story when we come on to the RGB cable. So on the end of this, we have a three pin, five volt addressable RGB connector. So this is going to plug into the addressable RGB header on your motherboard. And if we look at the end of this connector and cable, we've actually got two identical plugs. And it's exactly the same story when it comes to daisy chaining. So great, we're only going to need to use one addressable connector on our motherboard. We're going to plug the, this end into it here. And then we're going to have this little connector free to plug into our next fan. And then the next fan is going to have a cable free, which is going to allow you to plug the third fan in. Okay, so let's have a look at connecting these up. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to connect these up. And we're going to do the four pin fan connectors first of all. So as I've mentioned, this is going to plug into your motherboard and then we're going to plug the next fan into here. So if I take the four pin connector from the second fan and all I'm going to do is plug it in to the first fan. And then we've got the next connector in the chain and then I'm going to take the four pin connector from our third fan and plug it in to here. And then we have a spur connector on the end should we wish to add any further fans. So to power all three fans, all we would then need to do is plug this end here into the four pin fan header on the motherboard. Okay, so let's have a look at the connecting up the RGB. Okay, so we've got the RGB cable here with the two connectors on the end. So all we would need to do is plug one of these into the addressable RGB header on the motherboard. Be really careful and make sure you plug it into the three pin five volt addressable RGB header and not the four pin 12 volt connector because if you do, you will damage your hardware. And again, make sure you line the pins up the right way. There's two pins, a space and then another pin. So they're gonna to have to line up the same way. So we'll assume we plug this end in to the motherboard and this leaves us this end free. So we're gonna to need to join this up to our next fan. So in the pack, you get these little metal adapters. So all we're gonna to need to do is plug this into this connector and then take the connector from the next fan and join it up. So importantly, make sure you join it up the right way. So the five volts have to join up. So the five volts goes this way here and then just push it in to place. Okay, and then we've got another connector to join up to the third fan. So we just need another one of these little adapters. And then it's gonna plug into the connector from the third fan, making sure the five volts line up. And again, we've got a spare connector, should we wish to add additional fans. Okay, so that's all three of the fans connected up. So I'm going to show you how to plug this into the computer.
Okay, so we've got one of the four pin power connectors and we're going to plug it into the chassis fan header down the bottom of this motherboard. So it's just a matter of lining the four pins up and then pushing it in. Okay, next thing to connect up is the addressable RGB connector. So it's really important we line this up the right way. So we've got the two pins this way and the one pin at the end with the gap. Okay, so that's all the fans connected up to the computer. And if we were to power up our PC, the fans should spin and we'd also be able to use our motherboard's RGB control software to adjust the RGB on the fans. Okay, so say your motherboard didn't have an addressable RGB header or for whatever reason you didn't want to use it. The triple fan pack comes with a little controller which you can use to adjust the RGB. So to do use this, you plug the fans in exactly the same way, but instead of plugging the end of the addressable RGB cable into the motherboard's header, you plug the end of it into this little connector on the end of the controller. So to do that, all we would do is take one of the little connectors, line it up and plug it in. This controller is also going to need power and you can see it's got a SATA connector on the end of it. So all we would need to do to get this controller to work is to plug the end of it into one of the SATA connectors coming from our power supply. So we'll just line that up. There we go. So let's turn the fans on and see how they work. Okay, so we can use this little controller to cycle through the different RGB effects just by pressing the button. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Okay, so I think you'll agree installing in Wind's Jupiter AJ120 fans is really straightforward. And I think that's largely due to the daisy chaining method they've decided to go with. And I think you'll find this particularly useful if your motherboard has a limited number of headers. And I think you'll find the controller useful if your motherboard doesn't have an addressable RGB header. Because this is going to let you get addressable RGB in your case without the header. And you've got some great effects on it. So hopefully you find this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me and I'll get back to you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to be notified about future videos. And there's plenty of other PC builds and related content on my channel. So please go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching.